Hey guys, it is day, what is it, 15? Yay! Music playing. It is 12.35 p.m. I haven't had anything all morning, so I made it to 12 o'clock today. I'm starving. <laughs> no joke. So I picked up my juices today. I did a new order of cold pressed juices. So this is the Pure Refresher, which has cucumber, pineapple, and ginger. And we're not telling a lie. Oh, I was telling you guys, well, we never tell no, but I put it on the screen yesterday that the cantaloupe passion fruit drink that I got from the health food store. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is so good. This is so good. That juice that I got yesterday, mm -mm. that's it. This juice, it. This brand of juices, my fingernail gone. But me not telling a lie, all of her stuff are good. I think I've tried all of them and they're all good. But anyhow, let's get into what break in the fast today. So in today's box, I'm not tired of me unbox. <laughs> In today's box, I have some callaloo, steamed callaloo and cabbage. It seems to be mostly callaloo. I have a piece of boiled plantain, yellow yam, sweet potato. And there's a whole wheat dumpling. in it. There's some water in the box from... Then I put it outside and drain it off. There's um in the box top from the, the condensation, from the steam, from the heat of the food. And it condensed on the top of the box, so... Or do I have, I don't have any paper towel other than, yeah. I'll go throw it out, so. I hope I'm not throwing none of the food. Okay, I didn't throw away any of the food. Yeah, so there's that and there's a tea. Oh, there's a dumpling in there, a boiled dumpling, which... I asked him and he said it was straight wheat flour, but I'm going to just take a little bit because I don't trust it. Come here, say I can. Whole wheat flour don't bind, like. I think you always have to add something else to it for it to, to bind and form a dumpling. But when I get into the texture, I'll know. So, but you put it under the bottom of everything. So, I'm not going to find it right now. Oh, I found it. Let me show you guys. So it does look like a whole wheat dumpling, but okay. It tastes like I only whole wheat in there. You know how we kind of have that little trashy texture to it? I don't know. But I asked him and I made sure. I asked him more than one time to say, you sure it's just whole wheat or do not mix any at all? And he was like, no, it's not mixed, it's just whole wheat. And he was like, but even if there's a little bit in there, I shouldn't do you anything. I mean, I say, sir, I'm doing a fast from white flour is included in the fast. That was sweet potato. For my Americans, yes, our sweet potato don't look orange like yours. This is yellow yam. Why do they like doing all of that? Mm. Nice yam. I love yellow yam, guys. And then the plants in is boiled. They didn't have any ripe planting or at least they didn't have the fried planting it had finished by the time i was ordering my food that's nice it's sweet so it kind of fulfills that sweet tooth thing the cabbage is nice and crunchy i like when my sauteed vegetables are crunchy I like when them steam and soggy and witty witty. So I like that the carrot and the cabbage nice and has crunch to it. 
food is food in guys so i'm gonna finish eating oh i have one bottle i am doing horribly with water i have this one bottle of water i haven't had anything to drink all morning come to think of it because i didn't have any tea or anything did i drink some water I don't think I had anything to drink all morning. Big dirty 12 41 p.m. in the afternoon. And I haven't had anything to drink. That's poor. I'm going to drink half my juice and my bottle of water. And hopefully, do at least two more bottles of water before the end of the day today. Because. Yeah, I'm going to go on some ball. Happy not vibing with me today. Is it because I eat too much happy? Since I've been eating this, never. Too much aki is not a thing. I like when the when you know how when I do in my aki, I boil it in. I put everything in the boil in the water. Say so the flavor go in the aki from your boiling it. This aki just tastes like it boil. I think the aki that I had there yesterday it tastes because I think I could taste like the the pimento. But this just, it's not giving seasoned. But I like acne, so I'm not really, I wish it had. Do you know? But it's alright. But yeah, that's it for the food review. So how I'm feeling now, I was hungry before I came in here. This morning I made... Um, fritters for breakfast for a hobby and the 13 year old made pancakes so he and baby k had pancakes for breakfast and as usual you know when i start to smell the food in the house then you know i want to eat some but it wasn't too crazy crazy and then as i said no by the time it got to I was hungry, hungry, like really hungry today. Oh, and yesterday evening, baby K, when I picked him up from school, as I ate and then I went to pick him up right away when he came home, he actually asked for some of the food because he saw it. And I gave him and he loved it. He loved the burger and the and all of that. Thing. But I'm not really have no bad feeling or anything today. I'm doing well actually. Feel like I'm finishing strong. Um I don't know that I've seen any physical changes. Not that I was doing it to have any physical changes to be honest. I wanted to do it more. So pick something and stick to it and see it through because I really haven't been doing any of that lately. And since I had the baby, from the time when I was close to having the baby and my gynecologist told me to cut down on my activity because of how the baby was positioned and engaged, she thought the baby would have come early if I had continued with my activity. And so from that time, we just get lazy, to be honest. And because I'm not moving and I'm eating differently now. Because remember, the year I had the baby is the same year I moved into the house. So I'm eating differently because I try to feed the now have a blended family. So I try to feed the other people that I'm not used to feeding every day. I try to feed them how they used to be fed, where they're coming from. So instead of cooking two different things, I just... To be honest, I don't create no balance when it comes to that. I just they do what they used to do. For the most part, I cook things differently. Um, I don't use... I was saying yesterday I don't use salt on them something. So that's differently. But I do eat a lot more processed foods now than before I came into the house. So, 
this that I'm eating now, who I've been eating, I was thinking to myself, this is how I used to eat when I was living with my parents because God bless them soul. Because these things are always around that. Like, there's always green banana, there's always breadfruit, there's always yum and something like the pot that I get from daddy all the time. I didn't get any this trip, but it's it's not he's not growing the pot but he's allowed to pick from it if he wants to. So and from time to time they'll change out the crops so they might have pot chai now and then they might have something else. When that crop is reaped and finished they'll do something else and then it would be the same thing you can reap some whenever you want so you know when you live a country well you might not know but um neighbors are still a thing neighborly people are still a thing so when you live close to people they allow stuff like that when you when you're good with your neighbors and we have breadfruit trees daddy plants yams we have banana trees daddy have the chochos that they have the apple, that they have naysberry trees. So there's always, this type of food is always available. We have ackee tree up there. We have mango, our coconut. So this type of food is always available. And because back then I used to be on the road so much because, you know, the pandemic came in and it kind of broke up that on the road business and for a while everybody was working from home. And then... You know, when we figure out so we can work from home. <laughs> well, I've been working from home for years, but I've been working remotely for years. Because even now that I'm on the road, I'm working remotely because a company don't have an office down here. They have branches that have offices. An office close to here, actually. But that is not... I don't work in that division, but they do have an office that's close by. So I don't really have anybody to answer to, like, really, really in my territory. So, I've been working remotely for a while, but you know what I mean, when everything changed. So, I don't know, because even in terms of, I'm not fat, I know I'm not fat, so nobody come fight me. Please do not come and fight me, I know I'm not fat, but I am fatter than when I had, before I had the baby. And even when I just had the baby, so... I think my metabolism has slowed down drastically and it's just, it has a lot to do with my lack of inactivity and the change in my diet. As I say, I'm eating more processed foods now than I was before I moved into the house. And then when I was pregnant, towards the end of my pregnancy, when the doctor told me to just lower the activity, I had stopped my exercising and then it's just been, it's just been hard to get back into a routine. So every time I start and I realize how fast I get tired, I'm like, no, man. You think it would push me to go harder? I'm like, no, man. Like, why am I tired so fast? But it's something that I need to work on, so. This diet is more about changing my eating habits. And it's been a while since, as I said, I've tried this. This is my sixth try at this. And because processed vegan food is... You have convenience, vegan food and vegetarian food. But I'm trying to stay away from too much processed food. And again, those things are expensive. But after I do this, I'm going to try my best to do as much as I can to stay away from processed foods. I can't believe that I have not had any bread, any sort of bread or flour. I have not had any in what? 15 days? Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Actually, today that I'm eating this whole wheat dumpling is the first I'm having any type of flour. I've just been eating breadfruit and yam and banana and shorter and everything for the past 15 days. And I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I don't miss one piece of bread. I'm excited about that. That is so exciting. So yeah, I'm going to stop chatting now. Because I've done a lot of it in this video and I don't want it, the video to be as long as yesterday's video. But that is it for my day, guys. I am feeling good. I am feeling motivated. I am so excited. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited to finish 
One of the things that I'm excited about going back to do um, is having coffee. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And that was my day. That's day 15 of the Daniel Fast. We are going with the things. Thank you so much for being here. I said that's already. Show you Omiya Takuno. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 16 of 21.